Carnegie, and today I'll be interviewing Tim from Megablocks. Let's go inside. different lines does Megablocks produce? How many sets are out there? Uh, Megablocks has about uh, 12 or more active lines out there right now across all the different uh, age groups and categories. Uh, and all of those lines have about 10 or more products that come out each year. You know, the most active one, Halo, which uh, has probably a solid 20 to 25 sets or more that come out each year. What is the process involved of building a figure or a set? Uh, well, from this time that a set idea comes together, so a certain vehicle or a certain building or a certain uh, group of soldiers or figures that come together, um, the process really takes off from there. It's a matter of the guys with probably the coolest job in the building, which is just finding a way out of existing parts and maybe even some specialty parts to put together a vehicle. So they say, I, I need a 400 piece set uh, of this vehicle. And so that's somebody's job to just go into a massive bin of parts all colored the same way so they don't even worry about color at that part and just find a really cool way to make it and make it as functional as possible to the uh, vehicle in the game or the uh, or, or whatever's, whatever the source material is. And figures work a lot the same way but it's much more on a 3D rendering platform so they, uh, they're able to um, just play around with the renders and the colors and the and the, and the shapes and the armor styles for Halo and all of that kind of stuff and just try to make something that's cool and then it goes into approvals and, and feedback and all of that kind of process. So it's, I'm pretty far away from the process myself but from what I've seen it's a, a really fun process to, to be part of I bet. This year's signature series is the Mammoth. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, this, the Mammoth this year is a, over 2,000 pieces large. It's got four different figures in it, plus the, the little uh, light-up AI Roland. And it's huge. It's epic. I wish I actually had one in the room here to show you. But um, it's, although not to scale, just seeing it in a room is impressive. And uh, putting the figures on it looks fantastic. And... Um, I mean, there's some great videos out there, and actually there's a chance to win Mammoth through, uh, I know, Simon, uh, Simon's contest right now going on in the UK uh, on the SS Motion. But um, the Mammoth is, you kind of have to see it to believe it. Should fans for the Halo line be excited for 2014? Absolutely. I know for a fact that there are some huge things coming for the Halo line, uh, both in size and just in excitement levels. Uh, there's as many if not more sets coming out next year as there are as there were this year and um, there's some really exciting sets and figures and, and, and advancements and things coming in the uh, in the Halo line. For Halo, are there any more plans to build more sets like Repex? Definitely. Repex is something that's really exciting for us internally. It's a line or a, a, a part of the universe, a part of the official universe that's developed by 343 that we are creating ourselves along with 343. We build those sets and create those sets in uh, 
a lot hand in hand with uh, with the guys from 343, uh, thinking of the designs and the ideas and the concept behind even the entire Repex division by itself. The 2014, sorry, 2013 was sort of a start of the Repex idea. 2014 is going to expand upon it, and there's definitely some really exciting stuff coming on the Repex uh, on the Repex line from us, and some really stuff exciting stuff that the community is going to get really engaged with on the Repex line as well. That's all I can say about that now. Do you know stuff about the Halo games before they're even out? Uh, we as a company, some people, some very lucky people in the company do work really closely with 343 and uh, probably get a lot of inf inside information uh, about new Halo games well before they come out so that we can time our sets well. I, of course, know very little about anything well uh, a long time before it comes out, but uh, there's definitely some people here who have close connections with 343 and work with them on, on making sure that everything we're doing is timed well with the release of the game. So yeah, we, somebody here definitely knows some stuff. Are you planning on getting more lines about video games? Uh, Definitely. I mean, it's not a it's not a concrete plan, but it's something we love doing. Um, it's a great thing about Mega Bloks is that the Mega Block sets and the figures, especially, are super realistic and super authentic to the uh, to the uh, to the source material. Uh, so, video games is a natural uh, source of some really really cool universes for us to dig into. We're always looking for new. Uh, lines to produce and, uh, and new partnerships to create, so we'd be really excited to add on to our existing uh, little family of video game based sets. Any plans of making a toy animation COD versus Halo? Uh, there's no concrete plans for that, but I know that the COD sets, just the same as the Halo sets, make will make for some awesome toy nations. Um, we'll We've already started and we will definitely start seeing some really cool COD toymations and we'll continue seeing a lot of awesome Halo toymations. And it's up to the fans. Do the fans want to combine the two into a toymation? Bring it on. Let's see what you guys can do. Do you own an Xbox and are you a Halo fan? I do own an Xbox. I have a 360. I used to have the original Xbox as well and I actually just got my hands on an Xbox One today. I am a Halo fan. I love playing through the uh, the Halo games, and I think I've played, with the exception of Halo 2, and I know I'm missing out, I've played every single game all the way through. Um, I love the Halo universe, and I love everything it brings to, to multiplayer and to, uh, to, um, to the Xbox system, to the Xbox consoles. It's great. I love Halo. Are there going to be any big sets coming out for Mega Blocks? There's always big sets coming out uh, for Mega Blocks, big sets, medium sets, small sets. But there's huge stuff coming out all the time. We've got, I mean, I work in marketing and in social media management, and I, I deal with the community and I, I listen to the community and speak to the community all day, every day. We've got huge stuff coming out really soon. Um, we're going to be announcing and, and showing and sharing all of the spring stuff for both the Halo and Call of Duty lines within literally a couple of weeks. Uh, so keep an eye out. Uh, there's some big announcements to be made. We've got an absolutely massive program coming up for anyone who loves to build custom stuff, create custom figures, all of those types of things. We've got a huge program that we're about to announce on that. Um, and then there's Christmas, and then there's the, the new year, and then we're into the new sets. They're going to be in stores, so we'll be seeing a lot of really exciting stuff all the way through to 2014, and then 2014 is going to be massive with a full rollout of the, uh, the Call of Duty line based on not just modern games, but maybe even some of the past games. And um, I'm super excited to be part of it, and I hope you guys are too. Did you watch all the Fridge 2 4 episodes, and why am I your favorite character? I watched the most recent Fridge 2 4 uh, episodes, all of the, uh, the ones that I, since I started, I don't know if you guys know that I started in April, so I sort of jumped into the middle of Fridge 2 4 2, uh, and you're my favorite character because you're awesome. No, duh. And thank you for the interview. Hey, thanks a lot, Connor. I appreciate it. And uh, it's awesome to have some local fans here that can come in and hang out every now and then.